installing the 20A00-70, use the provided accessory pack and perform the following. 1. Position the controller on backplate in the desired location within the structured wiring can. 2. Using the supplied push pins, secure the four corners of the backplate to the structured wiring can. Note, on some structured wiring cans, it may be necessary to use the pre-cut tabs as opposed to the push pins for securing the backplate. 3. Using 14 gauge wire, connect the Omni LTE's earth ground terminal, the first terminal in the top terminal strip, to a cold water pipe or to a ground rod that is at least 4 feet long. This is to preserve built-in transient protection. Note, the grounding method must be in accordance with the National Electric Code. Transient protection will not work if the Omni LTE is improperly grounded. 4. Using 18-2 wire, connect the 24VAC 40VA transformer to the 24VAC input terminals. The second and third terminal inputs in the left corner of the first terminal strip. Be sure you have connected the wires to inputs 2 and 3 and not the first input, which should have been connected to the ground. Do not plug in the transformer until all devices have been wired to the controller. When you do plug the transformer in, do not plug in to a switched outlet. Next, we are going to connect the 33A00-4 console. Initially, we are going to wire in the communications and power only as follows. 1. Locate the console bus terminals on the controller. They are labeled console and approximately left of center on the top terminal strip. 2. Using 22 gauge 4 conductor wire, connect to the terminals as follows. Red to 12 volt plus. B to ground. Yellow to A. Green to B. Connect additional consoles if used to the same terminals in a similar manner. Next, we are going to wire in the RJ31X jack. Connect the incoming phone line to the bottom red, minus, and green plus terminals with the RJ11 house phone jacks wired to the top green plus and red minus terminals. Plug in the supplied 8 conductor telephone cable into the RJ31X jack. If necessary, bend the tab up on the plug to ensure a tight fit that will not fall out. The other end of the cable is spaded. The green, red, brown, Next, and gray wires must be connected to the Omni controller at the designated terminals under the section of the board marked phone. Green to GRN, red to red, brown wire to BRN, and gray to GRY. Next, we are going to address the battery. Initially, we want to connect a black battery wire to the minus terminal on the 12 volt, seven amp hour battery. Do not connect the red wire at this time. Do not reverse these connections or the battery fuse will blow. The unit will not power up on the battery alone. The battery leads must be separated from all other power limited class two wiring in the enclosure by at least a quarter inch. We have completed the physical installation of the controller itself at this time. Check all connections. Now we are going to power up the system by plugging in the 24VAC transformer. On initial power up you should notice 1. The AC LED will come on solid. 2. After approximately 15 to 20 seconds, the status LED should begin blinking once per second. Three. The phone LED should be off unless the main incoming line is not connected or a house phone is in service. Now unplug the transformer. Connect the red battery lead to the 12 volt DC battery and plug the transformer back in. Allow the system to run for 10 to 20 seconds and then unplug the transformer again. The controller should remain running but on battery power. Lastly, if multiple consoles were installed, they may begin beeping at power up and display no controller data. In this scenario, simply go to each console location and perform the following steps. 1. Simultaneously press and hold the for and up arrow for approximately 2 seconds. You will hear 5 beeps and the console will enter the internal setup menu. 2. 
The display will show console address on the left hand and the current address on the right. Enter in the desired number and press the pound key to save. Note on Omni LTE, only addresses one through four can be used. Three, once set, simultaneously press the four and up arrow keys for approximately two seconds. This will exit the main menu and go into the normal console display.